everybody and welcome to my channel. Hit the like button and please subscribe. It helps my channel a lot and I appreciate it so much and I want to thank my subscribers that have already subscribed. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. Um, I'm going on two months just starting this channel and uh, I'm so happy that uh, I have a good response so far. Um, first of all, I just heard a newscast about Donald Trump and like I said, it was an in-home setup job against Trump. Yeah, now the FBI uh, had raided one of his homes before and um, the FBI confiscated some videos that shows to where Trump had people moving boxes from his home that was once under investigation to the Mar-a-Lago home. And someone in his home at Mar-a-Lago called the FBI back and probably working under Biden because Biden's the one that set this up. Like I said in a video, I can't remember if it was last night or not. But, um, yeah. They called the FBI and said, you didn't get them all. He's got more. So they must have went to Biden. And then Biden set up the riot, uh, raid on Trump's home. And it don't sound good. And you know, like I said before, if he's guilty, he's got to pay the price. And evidently, he's got documents related way back to Nixon. But he says those are my documents. Well, I don't know. See, Nixon got trapped to bring him out of his guilty while he was president of what he had done. And uh, Trump had those files. And they come under espionage. I don't know why, just because Trump has got those files, what Nixon was doing behind everybody's back, they can call that espionage. Because what could Trump do with those documents except just keep them for history? I mean, I'm sure he's not involved, involved in espionage. But it'll be interesting to see how this comes out. But I was, uh, I was running back and forth. I took a break from housework, and it's my lunch period. And so I need to make me a bite to eat. But um, I just caught its and bits. So uh, you'll probably hear about it on the news channels. But someone in his home, and I knew that. I said that. It had to be somebody in the house. Then they went from the house to Biden. Biden set up the raid, and bingo. Now, I don't know how they're going. The courts will look at this against Trump, and I don't know how that would come under espionage. Now, Nixon, I could understand espionage, but just because Trump has got those files, documents, and kept them, probably for history, maybe, I don't know. Nobody knows how this is going to come out now. But uh, I was very upset to hear what I did here while I was running around from room to room doing what I do when I house clean. <laughs> but anyway, oh, one thing after another. Okay, well, this one here I do have up, and I'm going to go ahead because this was a, only a four-minute video here. Um... Another thing I caught before I called it a night last night on videos was a passenger flight from Turkey to the UK was intercepted by fighter jets after security alert Wednesday. The Jet 2 flight was diverted to London Stansted, about 200 miles from its destination in Manchester. The nature of the apparent threat is unknown, but some media outlets report it as a bomb threat. And hundreds of passengers have found themselves sleeping on airport floors 
and this summer's flight chaos. Because airlines are rarely required to give you a hotel voucher when flights are delayed or canceled. Here's when you get one. And that's when, you know, U.S. airlines do not provide hotel vouchers if a flight is delayed or canceled for reasons beyond their control. This includes delays caused by labor shortages or worker strikes. So all them people on that plane had to find somewhere to rest. And like in Europe, there are no federal laws in the U.S. requiring airlines to provide free hotel or food vouchers when a flight is delayed or canceled. Instead, individual airlines set their own policies. Oh, poor passengers, but a passenger jet flying from Turkey to the UK was intercepted by fighter jets shortly before it was due to land on Wednesday following an alleged security threat. The flight LS-922 from Dalaman to Turkey to Manchester Airport operated by regional airline Jet 2 was diverted to land at London Stansted Airport around 200 miles from its destination. The unscheduled diversion was made under the direction of UK authorities, the airline said via its official Twitter account Wednesday. We understand that the authorities were alerted to a potential security threat, Jet 2 said, responding to a post by the account flight emergency. The local police force, Act 6 Police, confirmed in a tweet the following day that officers led a safety operation after receiving a report of a potential threat on board shortly just before 9 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday. After landing the plane, taxi to a remote area of the airport away from the main passenger terminal where passengers were disembarked so local police could investigate. The runaway was closed for a time while inquiries were carried out. Officers were then able to establish that there was no threat on board, Essex police said in a, tater, in a later tweet. A spokesperson for the Stansted Airport said that the runaway was closed for 30 minutes, which led to one inbound flight being diverted. A spokesman for Jet 2 said all customers were offered overnight accommodation or ground transportation from London Stansted Airport to Manchester that night. For customers who received overnight accommodations, transport to Manchester was arranged for them the following morning. We would like to apologize to everyone on board for any inconvenience or upset caused by this unforeseen incident. We understand that the authorities were alerted to a potential security threat. However, this was soon downgraded. The incident was declared over, the spokesman said. It has not been revealed the cause of the security incident, though some media outlets report it is it as an al alleged bomb threat. Ooh. A spokesperson for the Royal Air Force told insiders, quick reaction alert, Typhoon aircraft was launched on the evening of the 12th October uh, from RAF Koningsby to intercept a civilian aircraft. The aircraft was safely escorted to the Stansted Airport. According to the flight tracking, Service Flight Radar, the Airbus A321, Registration G-HLYB, flew to Manchester Airport on October 13. And here's just a little note. This hasn't been a good week for Donald Trump appointed Special Counsel John Durham. See attempts to go after his only real prosecutions around the Russia probe. Trump has appointed Durham to investigate the investigators, claiming the former special counsel Robert Mueller was corrupt in his handling of the Russian investigation. Well, like I said before, I'm afraid. And Trump has kind of stepped in a mud hole. And, you know, if you do the crime, you got to do the time. But I don't think it will be called for a prison term. Uh, I'm not quite sure how anybody in the legal system would handle this situation, jurisdiction even. Um, 
I can't understand why they would put that, those documents under espionage, when all Trump was doing was like holding them, maybe for history. And the question is, how did he get those documents and why on the sly? He should never have done that. If he was supposed to have had those documents, then there wouldn't have been a question in the beginning. But oh well. Well, I'm going to fix my lunch. So I'm going to say I'll be back later. God love you. And you are a blessing.